All right, so what would it take to get me to come back and make a video again? Well, it's something I've been making a video about all the time over the past two years. People like David Pakman. Dudes who show you who they really are all the time. All you have to do is just pay attention to them for two seconds and they do something horrible. And what is we what's weird is, what what does dudes like Merrick Garland and Sam Harris and David Pakman have in common anyways? Well, it seems to be relishing dead children weird isn't it and um the other community that i've made videos about most of which have been taken down though um or uh the uh the demographic of the uh the shooter in this case that david pakman was talking about who who ran into a uh christian school for small children and killed uh i think two or three teachers and four kids little kids this was an a uh, female to male transgender person who, if um, any of the stuff that's leaked about um, their suicide note and whatnot that has come out, this was a deeply disturbed and uh, uh, somebody with some sever very severe sexual fetish issues. But that doesn't really come as any surprise since typically the people who lead the sort of lifestyles as this shooter did are very sexually depraved people and they seem to have this weird propensity for harming children and for seeking out children and people are wondering why like oh um uh take for instance uh it was posted on reddit somebody uh immediately after this case uh of somebody running into a freaking christian school for elementary school children and shooting up the place it had like three or four thousand upvotes on reddit before it was d deleted that said oh man a shooting in a christian school we better hurry up and go run and shut down drag shows and transgender rallies and stuff and oh <laughs> same thing happened on what like reset era and all these other progressive shithole websites everyone hurrying to say Oh man, we should do something about guns instead of all these. Oh, it, it was a trans person. Weird. There have been five transgender mass shooters in the past three years. Five of them. Five of them. Uvald was one. Uh, the Denver shooter was one. Dayton, Ohio was one. Weird how we keep being assured that Christian right wing white men do all the mass shootings, and yet it seems like every single time <laughs> well not every single time of course but many of the times especially the ones that have this propensity for shooting young children happen to come from the other side of the political aisle and very frequently seem to be very um well i can't say they're mentally disturbed because after intense political pressure um gender dysphoria was taken out of the diagnostic manual for mental illness so I can't say they're crazy. No, no, I'll get taken down off of YouTube for hate speech. So they're, they're not crazy. They're just um different. But, you know, no, not, not different in a way that we should do anything about or change the way we treat these disorders or maybe consider them to be people we should maybe keep away from kids and shouldn't consider normalized and polite society. No, none of that. Can't, can't say none of that. that that's horrible. That's, that's bigoted. Okay, you know, just ignore when the, these people repeatedly freak out and attack innocent people. They're not me they're not mentally ill or disturbed in any way. No, no, no. The issue is an inanimate object, a, a firearm. It's not the person wielding it. It's never the person wielding it. We should never look at them unless they're white and straight and male. Th then, then, oh, we should make a thousand news articles and great big uh, fucking Dateline specials about what we should do about those people. But only in those cases. Never, ever look at, well, never look at mental illness as an issue at all. Never forget that since the Bush era, um, all the sanitariums have been shut down and government funding for any of this kind of shit, be it anything from veterans assistance to child care for um, kids with developmental disorders, none of this shit. You know, I was the last generation to ever see anybody benefit from any of that. If you're, if you're, uh, you know, past the, the millennial generation, uh, you're, you're screwed. Actually, most of the millennial generation was screwed. I kind of was born towards the end of Gen X. 
or Gen Y, the missing generation that we stopped talking about and pretended that we were all raised on touchpads, even though I didn't, you know, own a cell phone until I was 19 years old. But that's neither here nor there. What is here is David Pakman. Well, what kind of person is David Pakman is? He's a progressive. And even before I had my eyes open to the general problem that is facing the United States of America and indeed the, the wider Western world, um, David Pakman was also always a loathsome individual because you, if you think this was the first time he stood on the backs of dead kids while the bodies were still warm to make some sort of anti-Christian point, this, um, this, uh, very not white guy, this very progressive dude, David Pakman, no, he does sh shit like this all the time. And of course, like any given progressive, uh, dude or white or otherwise, he's built his entire career on lying about taxation, lying about economics, lying about social justice and racial issues, lying about crime, lying about politics, lying about legislation. He just all progressives ever do is lie 100% of the time without an exception. There's no context. There's no subject that a progressive can discuss without lying. It's literally impossible. OK, it's is as axiomatic in as much a law of reality as gravity. But. Is David Pakman the kind of guy to do shit like this? Is David Pakman the kind of guy to make deranged conspiracy theories while calling everyone else a deranged conspiracy theorist? Yes, we're talking about David Pakman, a man who spent most of 2017 making videos insisting that Donald Trump has dementia and is addicted to to cough medication and is a drug addict because he once saw a picture of a package of Sudafed on fucking Donald Trump's fucking desk at the Oval Office. And he made dozens of videos about that one pack of Sudafed. And then, of course, Joe Biden being Joe Biden, need I say more? Do you think David Pakman has discussed any need for that? And no, and like any progressive, do you think David Pakman's been that critical of Joe Biden or Hillary Clinton or any of these other neocon Democrats who have done absolutely nothing to advance the progressive agenda whatsoever. It cucked on every kind of, of, you know, take, take a fucking, uh, police reform, take, um, uh, what's it called? A, uh, uh, college, uh, tuition, or, you know, reimbursement, or we call it student debt, uh, relief, any of this shit. Do you think he ever holds any of those people accountable? No. Do you think it's cause he's a partisan? No, he's an opportunistic dude. His general modus operandi, his intention, his motive for doing what he does is to lie and to smear Western society, to smear our culture, to smear our people, to smear our values, and to belittle everything. So, of course, when David Pakman makes this tweet that says basically, oh, you know, of, cor of course this happened to a bunch of fucking... Uh, kids in a Christian school, I guess they should have sent more thoughts and prayers. Well, first of all, it was one of the people you champion and defend who did this. And <clears throat> it was done with the express purpose of actually harming children. Like this wasn't a crazy person. They wrote down that they intended to harm these kids and that they didn't care that. And, and that they also said, I'm not crazy. I am just that angry. Like this is this is what's going on with this person. They're they're a, a deluded psychopath, and I can't imagine that the kind of therapy that was given to this person helped their mental state that much. I mean, one of the things that you can't deny, and since it's a it's scientific fact, I, I hope YouTube doesn't consider this hate speech. But gender dysphoria is comorbid with severe personality disorders like bipolar disorder, like borderline personality disorder, like autism, like antisocial personality disorder slash psychopathy, okay? People who have this condition are not well. And even if you say, well, gender dysphoria is not a mental illness, well, people who have this not mental illness tend to have generally recognized debilitating mental illnesses as well. And of course, we tend not to treat these people. We tend to give them pats on the head. We tend to treat them as superior to and di apart from the rest of people in our society. We cover for them when they do horrible things 
they're allowed to talk in ways that nobody else is allowed to talk on in social media, including inciting violence. And then you wonder why this <clears throat> group of people has increasingly become violent. Well, I'll tell you what, it's not just them getting cut too much slack, okay? They're being told ridiculously ludicrous things, like they're being quote-unquote killed by people in record numbers. But the thing is, the reason why they believe that is because they've also been taught that when you commit suicide, as in you kill yourself, whoever caused you to feel the way that made you kill yourself actually committed violence against you and therefore has literally murdered you. Meaning that the fact that 45 to 50 percent of people with this condition tend to attempt self-harm to a lethal extent, that doesn't mean they all succeed, but at least 45 percent of them attempt suicide, okay? But it's not because they have untreated severe mental disorders. It's not because society has left them behind and removed all the programs that were normally designed to help people in, in their situation or similar situations to them. No, they were made to isolate into increasingly insular and extremist communities and told that everyone around you is trying to kill you. Okay, there's a reason why, and this is anecdotal evidence, so take it or leave it, but every time I ever communicate with one of these people online, the paranoia dr drips right out of the fucking screen. These people are obscenely paranoid. And constant paranoia and fear, whether rational or not, tends to make people lash out and act violently. Now... Everyone's going to say, well, oh gosh, if only they didn't have an arsenal of, I think they had four or five handguns and a, um, a 300 black um, AR pistol or something like an AR pistol, which is, it's funny that we call them pistol. All that means is that the length of the barrel is not more than 14 inches. It would look like a submachine gun if you didn't know what guns were and looked at it. But of course, it's neither an assault weapon, it's not an automatic weapon, and it's not technically according to the ridiculous gun laws we do have in this nation, it's not technically a rifle. Um, and um, I have seen the video of what happened to this person, which was, unlike in Uvalde, just a handful of cops went rushing into the building. They located this person within uh, five minutes of entering the building and stopped them permanently. Um <clears throat> And it shocked me how even on uh, 4chan, when I was I was on 4chan just looking to see if anybody had, had uh, stripped a, a copied down any of this person's social media before, of course, it's always, you know, same day wiped so that nobody ever looks at, well, what kind of person was this? What drove them to do that? Nope, nope, nope. Delete everything they've ever said, regardless of whatever the context is. Just, don't, just delete all their shit. And, and very little had gotten pulled down. But there was, even on 4chan, a bunch of people saying... Well, why did the second cop shoot them again? They weren't moving. First of all, are you blind? I saw the video. The cops stopped shooting this person when this person stopped moving. And they were still holding the gun up until that point and were attempting to point it at police. And when they had located the suspect and opened fire on them, they had broken out the windows of the building and were firing at police down in the parking lot. So this was a complete murderous lunatic who killed, I think, four children and three adults, or it was three and three or one of those. I didn't really look it up. And I don't care to mention who the, exactly this person was by name, but I like to mention what this person was so that you can understand that if you find that there's a certain demographic of society that keeps doing things like this and keeps expressing beliefs that I've told you they expressed, and then decided that these beliefs meant that they needed to go and kill children and that keeps happening and then if you look on social media everyone is either trying to hand wave away or justify what they did or use what they did to grandstand and say well obviously the real bad guy in the room is religion well no no i mean how, how many times and keep in mind this is the most cliche a progressive trope and like everything progressives ever say is it's a lie 
is that, oh, um, well, they attacked, you know, a religious school. Well, well, you know, uh, Catholic priests keep abusing people. Well, first of all, are, are most of the Christians in the United States Catholics? No. Second of all, how many of these people tend to get abused by Catholic priests in a given year? I think the number is like 250. Oh, great. Uh, what's the incidence of child abuse from public school teachers in the United States? Oh, 25,000. I'll repeat that. 25,000. Oh, but Merrick Garland, another dude, <clears throat> wants you to believe that you're a crazy extremist if you think, I'm going to homeschool my kids, or at least get them into a private school system. I need to keep them out of public schools where kids keep ending up drug addicts or pregnant or fucking ruthlessly beaten by other students who the teachers in the public schools won't do anything about it. And they're constantly discriminated against in ways that are completely fucking illegal. Okay, or you have some sort of communist child predator in there as the friggin' teacher, or worse, as the superintendent or the principal. And they're targeting your kids just for the way they look and the way they were born. If, if you think for a second that anybody is crazy for one to take their kids out of public school and guess what just on the face of it america has the worst public school system in the entirety of the western world our school system has been a rotten diseased fucking joke for over 30 years it's a complete waste of fucking time in the internet age to send your child to public school and even at me who i'm an atheist by the way in case you were wondering would I would much rather send my kid to fucking Bible call, Bible school than to have them anywhere near public school at all. And, and if I thought, oh, hey, you know, the main reason why I would want still want my kid to be, you know, going out of the house every day and socializing with other children is for their well-being. I wouldn't want them to be socializing with public school kids. OK, and there's no rational reason to think that that's what's best for a kid or if that's even a good idea at all. In 2023, fuck no. Okay, I'm not, I wouldn't want to expose my kid to any of these kind of fucking dangerous people. Okay, thanks for watching.